Hi guys. Well, it was a pleasant evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Friday night, February 25th, 2022, until I had the, uh, I don't, I don't even know the adjective, uh, disquieting. I, I would. They, 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 I, I can't even name the adjective that I have just endured. I, I have just endured, and I made it to the end. This was eight and a half minutes. Came out a week ago tonight. An interview. I don't even know the clueless moron interviewer. I don't know. I don't care. But he's interviewing this dude named Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, you know, several people have mentioned this guy to me. And I have to admit, I don't know anything about Jordan Peterson. So anyway, the name of the video is Population Collapse is Coming. And I said, oh, wow, so maybe Jordan Peterson has something intelligent to uh, to offer to the discussion about population collapse. And since I did not know the man, this is the first time I ever heard, I, I, and to this second, I have no idea what this man's resume is. You know what I'm saying. I, I have no clue. I am assuming he is an economist because he sure as hell is not an ecologist. But anyway... So I listened to an interview of eight and a half minutes of Jordan Peterson, and I did not think it was possible after, what is it, uh, 12, 13 years, 14 years down this rabbit hole to be so utterly shocked and nothing less than despondent. This is probably the most depressing eight and a half minute video uh, that I might have ever heard in my life in, in the Doomosphere the, with, with this ignorant, clueless moron, Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson at least based on uh, on this eight and a half minutes, he is one of, well, uh, certainly his ideas uh, being espoused here in whoever this clueless moron uh, interviewing. Uh, I, I mean, these are dangerous ideas. It, it, it is the ideas coming out of this clueless moron, ignoramus imbecile's mouth that holds the destruction of a planet. Uh, this is some of the most evil, spiteful, just just horrifying verbiage I have ever heard issued out of anyone's mouth. I haven't heard anything out of Putin's mouth uh, in the past week, but I guarantee you Vladimir Putin has nothing to say uh, to to begin to hold a candle. So anyway, I, I'm going to risk a copyright uh, strike. I've n never had a copyright strike. Uh, so I don't know if I'm getting ready to get a copyright strike. Now, I'm going to play about one minute of this uh, interview, and I challenge you to uh, listen to all. I'll put the link on here. I will challenge you to listen to uh, all eight and a half minutes. But anyway, if you are not familiar with Jordan Peterson, uh, let's listen to this ignoramus evil fool for about one minute before I puke. Well, and th this idea that the planet has too many people on it, this is, I, there's no sentiment more implicitly genocidal than that statement. <laughs> So what do you mean too many people? Exactly. And what do you mean eight, the planet? Eight billion. What, the planet. Our mother. What do you mean too many people? Well, I think eight billion. Uh, what do you mean 
the planet. That this guy, I mean, look at him. He he has no concept of what a planet is. That he is completely confused about the definition of a planet, and I assure you, he has never heard the term carrying capacity. What do you propose to do about that exactly? Mass abortion, is that your answer? Oh, or yeah. should we do something a little more dramatic? Yeah, we'll sterilize the human race to keep ignoramuses such as yourself from being born. You are a walking case for mass abortion. If your mother had had an abortion, uh, the world would be a better place. It will just shame people out of having children. And I've seen people do that, literally. I wish to hell someone had shamed your mother out of having children. Uh, again, the world would be a better place. I saw a professor when I was at a, uh, um, uh, a TED, I think it was, a, it doesn't matter. It was a number of professors talking to a couple hundred students. And one of the professors who was an environmentalist activist type and he got up on stage and shook his finger to the whole young crowd saying that him and his wife had only decided to have one child, which was, in my opinion, one child too many for him. Uh, well, I can certainly say your mother had one child too many for her. And told all the young people there if they had a shred of ethical decency that they would lim severely limit their reproductive potential. And I stood up and said that I thought that, that was the most one of the most appalling things I'd ever heard anyone in academia say to young people, which is really saying something because they say plenty of appalling things. And it was Anyway, I think you get the idea. But, you know, it really, as, as much as the, uh, the depressing thing about the, the shit coming out of his mouth, so the interviewer, his name is Chris Williamson. Chris Williamson has 300 and 26,000 uh, subscribers. That video had one, it in the, it's been on for one week, 1,731,304 views, 67,000 thumbs up, 13,510 comments, we are going to make uh, 13,501. This was quite possibly the single most appallingly ignorant video I have ever seen in my entire life on YouTube. This ignoramus has no clue what the definition of a planet is. Let's see. He is certainly a walking argument for well, if I put abortion on here, it'll be uh, uh, for shaming women, shaming breeders into not having children. So that is the comment from Collapse Chronicles. There you go. A couple more. Let's see. All right, let's listen from, to Mike. I am probably Georgian's age, and I remember reading the book Pop, The Population Bomb by Paul Ehrlich. In it, he claimed there would be mass starvation by 1984 in the United States. That book came out in the 70s and scared me so bad, I went down to the doctor and got a vasectomy. Hallelujah. There you go. Uh... Hallelujah. Uh, yes. 
Uh, well, then of course he fell in love and got his vasectomy reversed best and had kids best thing that ever happened to me 1000 thumbs up 1000 thumbs up for this man having his vasectomy reversed yep 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 uh Anyway, guys, I am, uh, I'm just, I, I, I'm truly sickened. I'm truly sickened uh, by this, this ignorant moron. Uh, Jordan Peterson, I hope you die soon, painfully, and rot in hell for eternity. Anyway, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link and uh, enjoy the rest of the eight and a half minutes um, before see if I get this video ripped down for a copyright violation. Bye, guys.